What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead 213 where we do pretty much any kind of shoe reviews or anything related to shoes. Um today is a really special pickup. Um this did come just now a few minutes ago. Uh been waiting on this package for about a, over a week, so really uh <clears throat> anticipation was really killing me. I was thinking I wasn't going to get them. Um, and still waiting on one last package that I have to do an unboxing on, but that hasn't came um, came here yet. So um, today, this pickup is from a website called Yeezy Supply. Um, Yeezy Supply is it's a it's a very simple website to purchase off of. Um, not many people know about it. And then those that do think that everything on there is overpriced. And I actually tend to agree. Their shirts, everything is overpriced. Even some shorts were like 50 60 No, there was some shorts for $200 on there. I'm like, nope. I'll pass. Thanks. So, here it is, guys. Unboxing. Um, there's the receipt from Yeezy Supply, let me cover up my address, Yeezy Supply, there it is guys, so uh, pretty dope, I'm trying to look at all the information, but yeah, so you can see I paid 240 this is what a receipt looks like from them. Pretty interesting. You can already know what this is. Yep, that's right. Another Yeezy pickup. All you guys that are wondering how I'm getting these Yeezys, all I can say is go back in the history of my videos I've uploaded. And there is a video called How to Cop the Cream White Yeezys. And that is the strategy that I've been telling you guys since I started getting into the shoe game that I use when copying Yeezys and it's obviously working so here it is Yeezy Boost 350 V2 and a 9.5 cream white cream white um, like I said be very patient when you order from Yeezy Supply they take a very long time they don't have a contact number they pretty much have a system in which you submit a request to get contacted back via email only so that was pretty much a hassle I had to deal with guys um, I had to contact them about some order um, that I previously uh, made the same day I made this order for another item that I can't tell you guys so it's gonna be a surprise and um, they still haven't even gave me tracking info on those but they did charge me for it so I had to email them regarding that but um get to these shoes man these things there we go there it is guys that is always hard to get out there's nothing inside the the box like I said these shoes do look nice in my opinion but white for me is very hard to keep clean that's the only discouragement that keeps me from wanting to keep these you know in my possession but um here they are guys straight out of Yeezy Supply. Yeezy Supply guys, if you're wondering where that store is or where their headquarters are, I believe it's in a place called Calabasas, California. Um, very cool shoe. I mean, I'm really stoked I got three pairs of these. I copped one pair via um, raffle actually. I got them on an online, well not online, but um, in-store raffle. And then I copped the other two pairs, including this one, um, online. With a lot of patience. I stayed up all night, pretty much. But look, guys, it paid off, right? So, there's enough shoe number one. And these are sold already. I have a lot of customers based on, you know, getting into the shoe game. I actually just got in the shoe game last year, guys. Is that crazy? Just last year, and... I know so much about it. There's people that know a lot more about it than I do, but for me, it seems to be working out. Um, establishing relationships when you're 
uh, sneakerhead is very important. Um, it matters to me more so um, establishing a relationship with a person, whether it's a buyer or just a friend who can help you get shoes. That's more important than any kind of money or any amount of money. So always keep that in mind, guys. But here it is, guys. The Yeezy 350 V2 Boost Cream White, Cream White colorway. Um, and I already did a shoe review on this, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. So this material here is a fly knit. I mean, sorry, not fly knit. <laughs> prime knit material. Um, it's th a thicker prime knit, though. That's why it feels a lot more rougher. Um, which is pretty consistent with all the other 350 V2s. Um, even the breads had them too. Um, so yeah, a lot of people were asking me about that. Like, what kind of material is that? Well, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, prime knit material. It's just a little, a little bit thicker. It has more layers to it than, you know, some of the NMDs and Ultra Boots do. Um, so yeah, I actually like that it's thicker. I really like that. Um. I say it adds to his durability, um, and yeah, but let me give you a 360 of the shoe, straight out of Yeezy Supply. Yeezy Supply drops at a random time every single time. I would say from 5 to 9 a.m., it's just, uh, you just gotta constantly be refreshing the page. Um, I could have missed out on these, but I didn't, I somehow got lucky and just checked out but uh yeah here's the other one guys i like to take my time on my shoe reviews oh on this one you can really see that supply and you know 350 logo right there you guys see it it's a little more detail right there in the center that's pretty cool it wasn't that wasn't um so with the other shoes i had so yeah quality control i guess <laughs> um there it is guys so let me get started on the review move these out of the way for you guys um so one of the things that a lot of people notice when they first see these is how white the shoe is um especially the front of it it's extremely white there are hints of a little bit of cream yellow on it and it gives it that yellowish or glowing look um, and I always tell people, you really honestly have to see these shoes in person to really get, you know, an idea of the color of these. Um, there's the stitching right here, that stitching, the crisscross stitching or X stitching, whatever you want to call it. On the back, again, crisscross stitching or X stitching. And then on the bottom, we have that gum sole with that rib cage looking, um, bottom sole. And then that Notorious Boost right there. And then the Boost and Font right there. Um, and then you just have this whole patterning of like, you know, rib or rib, rib or spiral line. And then up here, just the prime knit all throughout the upper of the shoe. You have a pull tab, which is very useful. This pull tab is actually really useful. I think they can up, update it and make it look a little bit more modern, but I mean, I guess it works for now. Um, and on the inside, you have the Adidas Yeezy Boost. And then this one did come with a sticker. It didn't fall off because these fall off very easy. Uh, and then you have the shoelaces, the round shoelaces. Very cool. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. The three stripes, the patterning on the inside right there and then right here and that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys on the next one guys i kept this one short